If you've just started an IRC channel on any server, you've probably noticed how some people have these really cool bots that can do just about anything. They can tell you the time, they can define words, they can search stuff for you, and they can do many other things. And you might have wondered how they got to do that. Well, just a little information for you, it's not the default bot that's usually put into your server. For instance, this is my channel on Geeks IRC right here. And as you can see there is this bot called God. And God is just the services bot. God can't do everything on here. Like he's not the main bot. He can't do any like custom stuff like define words or anything. And for that you need a custom bot. And my custom bot's name is Slave, as you can see here. And I'm going to show you how you can put scripts into your bot. First thing you want to do is get MIRC. That is the program that most people use to customize their bots. And as you can see, this is running the Slave platform. It's running the Slave. It's under the name of Slave in here. And what you want to do is click on this little scroll thing that says Scripts Editor. And here is one of my scripts. It's the Urban Dictionary script. And then I'll just go to Triggers, which is the most basic. And I've written all of these out, and I'm going to show you how to do just a basic IRC command. So, for a basic text IRC response command, like rules or commands or something, you're going to type on, on, space, asterisk, colon, TEXT in all caps, then another colon, and then whatever you want your trigger to say, like question mark recording. I don't know, I'll just put question mark recording. And then another colon and a pound sign. I think that's a pound sign, if it's not, oh well. Then space, open bracket, MSG, space, dollar sign, C-H-A-N, and then whatever you want it to say, like recording, I use Camtasia Studio 6 for my YouTube recordings, and then period, and then you can put a closed bracket, but I don't, then you click this little bracket checker right here, file, save. I call this one triggers and you don't want to have two different commands like you don't want to have a weather command and a trigger file each you don't want them to both be on the same file as you can see here I have topic triggers twitter weather time google youtube wikipedia and urban dictionary and they all have to be in different ones or else they won't work so now what we're going to do is go back to my chat which is xchat2 we're going to type in question mark recording R E C O R D I N G and hit enter. And then slave the bot says I use Camtasia Studio 6 for my YouTube recordings. And as you can see over here, I will do it again. I'll do rules this time and you can see that the bot actually does it at the same time as I do. See the bot types it in and then it comes over to me. Welcome to Mr. Pib. Please respect all ops as well as other chatters. Thank you and of course the open bracket or the close bracket that I forgot to take off so now if you want to add more advanced scripts then you can either code them yourself join the MIRC scripting channel in Geeks IRC which is what I've done here and that's how I got a bunch of stuff to work and another place that you can find very a lot of MIRC scripts is hockey.com h-a-w-k-e-e -E dot com and um, I'm going to load up their home page I have, was searching for something there and we will say we want to find I don't know let's say we want to find urban dictionary definer well I already have that but I'll show you anyway I can't spell today. U R B A N D I C T I O N A R Y. Urban Dictionary. Well, 
Okay. Dictionary, that's where I found it. And the one that I have is slang, I believe. Yeah. Slang Urban Dictionary script. And I'll load it and it brings you to hockey.org or, or hockey.com or whatever. And then it has the script which you copy the script. You can do the whole thing, but what I do is I just put my mouse over it and just drag it down like that. And then once you have it all, you go back to your MIRC, click on the little scroll thing, open a new file. Mine is already called Urban Dictionary. And then you just paste the whole script right in there, click the little bracket thing, and then click Save, and then click OK. And like I said before, you have to be sure they're in different files or they won't work. So now we're going to test out the Urban Dictionary script. For this, we're going to define fail. I mean, I don't know, fail. So we'll type in exclamation point slang, S-L-A-N-G, and then fail. And then please wait, just searching for your term. And then it says either an interjection used when one disapproves of something or a verb meaning the same thing as a form of not go as planned. Like, you actually bought that, like you fail, and this movie fails. So, yeah. If you want to find this post or any other post that I've made in the last six months, you can find them at bbtechhelpbb.site90.net, which you can see is right here in the topic, and right here, which is the same thing, but oh well. Feel free to join in my chat room. It's pound sign Mr. Pib, as you can see right here, on the IRC network irc.geeksirc.com. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. Thanks.